Mostly Girls Hairstyles. Today I have Helen with me, um, one of my best friends and clients from forever and really good family friends. So we have been growing her hair out. It's just been, it's a, over a year now. And she used to have a short pixie cut, shorter than mine, um, if you've seen some of her videos. And I, she's been awesome to let us um, do the videos as she's been growing out because a lot of people like to grow their hair out. They just never do because it's hard. But if you keep it styled and cut into a style, then it's not that hard. And she did it. It was awesome. So <laughs> anyway, um, I am going to show you. We like to keep it at the length that, that it's at. So we're going to bring this. I mean, we're obviously cutting it up, but where it's at, you know, as far as growing it out, we are shaping it up, but we are not like growing it out anymore just because it's so, it's so long. It's where she wants it. She doesn't want it longer, but it's, it's going good. So after we get this bottom, then we'll do the sides. And I always like to check this, um, you know, after we dry it, and I've told you guys that sometimes back here, if they have calyx or something, it can end up, you know, drying just a little bit shorter in, in different areas. So I do like to double check that um, when, after we dry it. It was fun. Helen come in, we colored, you know, I've told you guys this before, like we've colored and cut Helen's like every few times she gets it cut and then we come back for the color and it was colored this time and, um, it was cute. She's like, darken me up. Because last time we went dark, and that was super fun, and she loved us. We've been putting more dark in now. So she still has some of the light for when the natural highlighting comes comes in, then we can, you know, blend, blend that in. in. Yeah, <laughs> blend it in. Okay, I'm just finding the camera. Yep, that is hilarious you say that. So she does always and i may have said that on the last video but it's hilarious every single time um she comes back and we cut this back she always has this tan line <laughs> it's awesome because so she has oh my goodness how many grandkids now nine nine and so she's always out in the sun going to their games and all that good stuff so yeah she gets plenty of sun <laughs> so she always has her little sun tan or her sun line back here okay so we are going to take this up. We like to keep this a little tighter in the back. Um, and we like to angle this up. So she has fullness up top, but it, it comes down here. So it's not, cause see how bulky? bulky? Yeah, <laughs> do you hear? She's like, yeah, it's bulky. So um, it's really bulky like through this area. And you can see where I've cut, that's in and this is bulky. So we're taking this bulk out, but we're kind of leaving this length a little bit up in this area just to have that volume but yeah she this her hair grows like a weed and <laughs> so yeah we definitely have to take this much off every haircut because it grows so much but yeah it does get bulky back there and then it's just a pain and sometimes if you don't shape it up when it gets bulky like that that's why a lot of people end up cutting their hair off is because it drives them nuts and it feels like it's hanging and whatever but if you, that's why it's so important to um, keep it shaped up as far as your haircut. And even if your hair, you know, doesn't grow this much in between cuts like hers, um, definitely, if you can see that, I wonder if you can see that. We took this in tight, but see all this length down here? That's the difference. Like that's how much it grows. So we want to take that out so she doesn't have to, deal with that or have it, you know, curling or flipping around the bottom or anything like that. Because who wants to deal with that, right? <laughs> Not us. Well, especially just since we haven't had it forever. When you have short hair, <laughs> then when it gets, right? It gets bulky and you're like, yep. No, I don't want bulky. Okay, so I'm just taking that up to this length. And um, if you guys feel like you need to, you know, make your sections, like I've said before, you can definitely do that. Or if you know, like where you're at in your cutting, then just follow your own, your own way in doing it. I just like to follow the hair that I 
have cut in the section before and use that as my guideline. Yay, so you can see that bulk is gone, so it's tighter down here. Um, okay, now I'm just gonna take this next section. Take that off. I seriously cannot believe your hair has grown like this. <laughs> And it was funny because, you know, when you always or you talk to your stylist about like, yeah, I just want to change it. Let's grow it out. And then you make it like to the next haircut and you're like, I can't handle it. I can't <laughs> just chop it off. But if you explain to your client, OK, but if we take this, this and this off and it'll help this filling here or, you know, you kind of explain explain it to them and help them grow that out, it will really help them not just chop it off. Plus, Helen, don't you feel like it's been um, not as bad growing it out? Is because, it's not been. Yeah, it's because it's just kind of like there's a plan behind each cut and you kind of know what's going on and, and maybe it's um, learning to style it a little bit different, right? Is yeah. that, yeah, <laughs> she's like, oh yeah. So yeah, just with that, just learning how to style it a little bit different can make a huge difference. Oh my goodness, you guys, I am almost a grandma and I can't even wait this week, this week, this week. That's why I have pink nails. <laughs> oh, weird, because it's gonna be a girl and so I have to have pink for my baby girl. I'm just excited to, you know, really see how it is when everybody says grandkids are the best. So it's gonna be fun. Okay, so you can see, here's that guide point, and I'm gonna come up this way. Take this off. And that's the thing too, is even these layers up top, we wanna keep them shaped in, just so they don't get too heavy and they feel like they're falling. Um, but yet this is a good length because it is longer than what she's had, but make sure that you keep those shaped up. Unless you're obviously going for a longer look with your layers, but it's kind of fun. She's had, like when they go down camping and stuff, she's like, I wear hats more because I can throw on my hat camp camping while we're camping and not feel like I don't have any hair around my face. So. Like that's I'm true. A boy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> See, so when you have the hair around your face, it makes you feel a lot better. So that's been fun for her too. Little things like that. Okay, sweet. Now we're gonna come to this side. Take off that length. Just follow that guide point from the the row before the section. sound is that weird it's the best sound to hear that like it's almost like sprinklers outside <laughs> it's not weird i'm weird it's fine it's fine a little obsessed with my job okay so i am going to kind of come on an angle because she does like it longer around her face a little bit so if you can see that angle um i went from this layer up to her top layer. So that means when you, the top layer falls, that's gonna be the longest piece, okay? So that's why we are doing it on an angle. Okay, all right, now what I'm gonna do is just hold this out Take this from this back layer that comes to this front. I'm just gonna take those little bitty hairs off. I can't wait 
to show her in the mirror because she's going to be dark again. <laughs> it, it was pretty light. We got Yeah, we, we went pretty dark last time. Um, like I told you, she wanted to. And yeah, she ended up loving it. So it's actually really fun. That's what's fun about changing up the color, though. Like you have this color, and then in a few weeks, it's a little different color. And then by the time you come back, it's a totally different color, right? Oh, great. Love it. <laughs> At least it lasts you. She does, oh goodness, we only color every few times. So it lasts through the, the cuts for sure. So that's a huge plus. Okay, same thing here. Taking that little corner off. So you can see that layer up there. So you just take that corner and just kind of connect that. Her son, Jade, drew a picture of my dad. My dad passed away about eight years ago and he drew a picture of my dad that is absolutely phenomenal like oh man we cried and cried he brought it to us and we just we cried and cried it was the coolest coolest thing okay so for her bangs we're going to come on an angle so you can see that's shorter but it seems like this is longer so we're going to want to connect that a little bit see that piece right there that's short that's long so i'm going to come up so that blends a little bit better that might be was that a little bit hard to do your bangs or did mm -hmm. you notice it? Did no. you notice? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Cause there was, there's a long piece there. So anyway, I'm glad to get rid of that for you. Just to connect that a little bit better. Okay. And then of course, um, when I go to, to dry and after we dry, I'm going to come on this side so you guys can see. Okay, I'm going to just come in, open and shut the shears, open and shut the shears. And you can see I come over about a half an inch to make those shorter hairs, just so it's not all long and super heavy right there, just so that it lightens up and it's not just blunt. You know what I mean? It has just a little bit of more movement there. And then Helen has, we're gonna texturize, Helen has, yeah, you can ask her. We <laughs> love texture. Um, she has a lot of hair, but the texture is fine. And so with fine, thick hair, you need a lot of texture. So through this area, I kind of go one, two, or one, two, three, as I go out at the hair strand. So sometimes, um, you know, I just kind of like to do it in the root area, but with Helen, I kind of come throughout. So I just kind of do this throughout the whole hair strand instead of just in the base of her. Um, and that's just because she has a lot of fine hair and it just helps it. Sometimes in between haircuts, especially when she was spiking it up and stuff, um, she'd come in between and get extra texturizing because it helps so, so much. <laughs> especially when you have all that hair like she does. Okay, now we are taking the mousse. I'm gonna put that in her hair. And then we're going to dry this. I'm gonna dry it to where it's about 80% dry and I will round brush it and then um, I will show you the finished product. looks good. I love it. I love it. Okay, I'm just going to take the flat iron through it. Just a little bit. Okay. So relaxing, huh, Helen? Yes. <laughs> it's like the best. It feels so oh. good. <laughs> yes. Exactly. 
Exactly. Okay, so then through all this, I'm just kind of coming back through and I'm just taking the flat iron through it. Just kind of straighten it out a tiny bit because we still want a little bit of that roundness through this area. Um, so if you've seen, I just kind of um, ran the flat iron through it a little faster, you know? Okay, now what we're gonna do is just do a little bit of paste in her uh, bang area. Just to kind of piece it out, and then we'll... Did you know this all the new growth? Yes. Yeah, I did notice that. A ton of growth. You're healthy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're gonna um, back comb this a little bit. Um, so you can see I'm just kind of piecing that out. And I'll look at it in the mirror here in a second, but we're gonna um, back comb it and have a little bit, but she doesn't want it like extremely poofy but she does like it a little bit if we have too flat of hair when we're used to this then we don't feel like our hair's done right <laughs> yeah it's like mm, we need a little bit of oomph so no ball games tonight helen no just the rodeo oh yeah just the rodeo that's right <laughs> She's usually at a ball game with one of her grandkids, so. Yeah. Alrighty. And I've had a lot of people ask what hairspray this is. Um, it's in the description below. There's a link, you can push on that. And it has my favorite products in there, and there's the link in there for the hairspray. Or brushes, or whatever. If you can't find anything, let me know, and I can help you, but... Okay, let's check this out. Oh, ah, you're <laughs> oh, I love it with your skin, and it just looks so good. It looks so good. Okay, I'm gonna just lift her bang up a little bit. Covered. <laughs> covered, covered. Does that feel? Do they feel a lot? Better? Do they feel a lot better? Okay. So do they? They move. Yeah. That one side. I'm, where do I put it? <laughs> where do I put that? What do I do? <laughs> um, so you can see, I just feel like this is thick. So I'm just going to take a tiny bit out of this for her, just so when she styles it, she's not trying to find a place because it won't. <laughs> It's just staying in that one spot, so. Okay, my dear, just gonna double check her sides. One side's a little bit longer. I'm just gonna take that a tiny bit shorter. Then we should be good. Well, thanks again, Helen. Seriously, for all these videos to show them <laughs> how to keep it styled after we grow it out. So anyway, you guys, thanks again for all of your support. If you have any um, questions, let me know. I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Um, please like, share, and subscribe, and we'll talk to you next time. Thank you. See ya.